Hello everyone and welcome back to Jolly Old. Good old England. You can tell I'm here because I started it in English, so <laughs> go figure I didn't try and mangle another 17 different languages. Not this time anyway. Um, so this uh, hostel that I'm in this time is right up there from the pub. There's roadworks right outside. And it's about a two minute walk from Euston Station, which is really fucking handy. This time my first one was right by Allgate, not Allgate, sorry, uh, Hendon Central. But the difference is this time is that Euston, Euston Station is sort of quite a big one. And, um, So it has a whole bunch of lines that go through it, which is quite wonderful, really. I mean, it's getting around quite a lot easier, I say, as I'm walking. But I'm going to walk over to Camden Town, a lovely market there. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, I didn't. I had missed, missed myself up. I got my dates confused. So the swings party is not tonight. I thought it was. It's tomorrow. The problem is I was meant to go to Scunthorpe v Dorking tomorrow. And I'm now going to have to cancel that and take the loss on it. Again, my fault, so I can't really complain too much. But, just a mild annoyance really. So, yeah, I'm going to head down to Camden and we'll see you guys later. Guys, I'm at Camden Market. Half the shit isn't even open. But there's so much cool shit here. <clears throat> I have to be very, very careful, otherwise I'll run out of funds again real quick in this place because it is just so much cool shit like that how fucking cool was that shit wow we that vintage collection yeah this place is mad this place it has me tempted to empty my wardrobe come here and just refill my wardrobe from scratch. I'm not gonna lie because fuck me sideways. It is stunning down here. Absolutely stunning. And like I said, most of the places are still closed. It's just gone 10. And most of the places are closed. I'm confused by that, but it must be sort of a late night thing as well. I guess it must. Like it must. There's not two ways about it. Random walls. Oh yeah, lo lots of lovely eateries. Some amazing stores. Come to market, place to fucking be if you got some money to spend. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole heap to spend. I did just buy tickets for Phantom of the Opera though. Which I've always said that that's one of my things to watch Phantom of the Opera on the West End. Western Broadway, St. Anthony's Yard, now it's time for the West End. And that's going to be a fucking cool experience as well, I promise you that. Yeah, I definitely promise you that. And some more food spots. Here it is. Cheese platter, £22. Avocado on toast, £11. So it's not cheap. Avocado on toast for 20 bucks, $22 back home. It, is, it isn't cheap, but it all looks and smells amazing. Got a Tomb Raider experience down there. Oh, well, that's about it. including. model of Lara Croft. A quality CBD shop, lots of art shops, lots of everything really, to be completely honest. Anything you could ever want is here in Camden Market. And we've got a barber shop. Fucking superb. Absolutely superb. 
Well, the both this place is going to open at least, as you would hope, by 10 a.m. But yeah, I'm going to keep wandering around here for probably a fair while, because it's going to take a long time for me to explore it all. And then potentially, eventually, find something that I find that I can actually uh, purchase. But we'll see. We shall see. So I am in Regent's Park now. I've just started, so... I haven't done it in a while, so I don't know why it's such a big deal for me now. But, here, I've just found my dream for football in New Zealand. And this is what New Zealand football needs to do. Maybe not New Zealand football as an organisation, but football in New Zealand needs to do four grassroots. These are all junior pitches that I'm about to show you. Except for the ones over the over the back there. Those ones look to be senior or at least intermediate. But have a look at that. Have a look how well the fields are kept. And this is in England where the weather is absolute shit. And over this side you've got more of the senior set up. There's a rugby pitch over the back there, but look at how lovely it is. Whereas kids back home play on mud and then expect to develop players. Doesn't really work that way, unfortunately. Oh, well, yeah, it's never going to work that way. But even just the number of pitches, we don't have that either. Sometimes you struggle for a pitch and you get moved around left, right, center, blah, 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 blah. And it all just turns to shit. But this. This is stunning. And Regents Park Football Club, which is in the middle here, is not exactly a big team either. So it's not like you can sit there and go, oh, it's the money, it's the money, with the big teams. I mean, most of it probably does come from the council, but still, come on. New Zealand football, do better. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, well, football in New Zealand needs to do better. Absolutely needs to do better. We'll never compete. You see, we're going to develop players and then you put them on a mud track. Doesn't really help, does it? Not at all. And this is the other side of the hill I was just standing on. See a rugby pitch over there, like I said. Even that looks a lot better than a lot of our football pitches. In New Zealand, even in Christchurch, especially in Christchurch, I should say. Well, they've got dogs and stuff that wander all about the place as well. Can't blame the dogs, you can't blame the weather. The only thing you can really do is look at the infrastructure. You see, they fence off the whole field if work's been done to it. And they won't use that until it's fully, fully, fully ready. And like, for me, it's all right, pitches are a bit bobbly and whatnot. I can definitely understand that. But you can't have people playing on mud. I mean, like, we talk about Christchurch even. There's the, the, what they call now the Southern League, which is the South Island. Some of them pitches are basically just mud as well. It does not work, it cannot be done. But, rent over I guess. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is school kids rugby. Have a look at the pitch there. Let's have a look at the field. It's fucking lovely. But, yeah, anyway, going to continue walking about. I've still got about an hour, three quarters before I can check into my hostel, so in that time I do want to get some groceries and stuff so I can eat later. Or I might wait and see what is available at the hostel for me to use to be able to cook and whatnot, because if it's just microwave, then it's going to be microwave meals, which is what I have been doing. But some hostels have a full kitchen for us to use. 
which in my opinion is how it should be really but uh yeah yeah let's go and do that and uh, like i said a fair few times i'm getting tired the walking has gone down a little bit from time to time i definitely don't feel like i can walk as much as i was earlier in the trip especially through italy i have done a lot and a lot of the time i've not been sleeping all that much either so i just have to be careful and sort of pace myself a little bit more i think so that's what i'll be doing from now on although today has been a pretty big walking day it's been good um yeah peace i've just discovered the inner circle of regent's garden it's actually called the regent's garden inner circle it's got just like that there's an open air theatre just over there way down that end there is a very regal looking gate but even just having a look around here so serene and very pretty especially in the hustle and bustle of London town Queen's, Queen Mary's Rose Garden, which I will be checking out a little bit later. There's a Japanese garden in here, that's obviously the open air theatre that I just spoke about. So a few, a few gardens still for me to check out before I head back to Pub Love at Euston Arms, which is where I'm staying. And we'll see what that, we will see what that is like when we get there. And I'm about to go for a walk through I found another little pile just through here, so let's check it out, shall we? And my hoodie is falling down from around my waist. It's always about the time that's the least opportune time for it to do it, so bear with me a moment. I'll set you down there. And we're off again. Lovely little cove here. Nice little flowers. Lovely pretty little garden here too. And then we walk past dead things, dead plants. But that's alright. It's only just a little walk. It wasn't even a proper one. But that's alright seen another one that's a better view of the golden gates if you can see them I'm not sure if you can see them yeah, my, my screen's very little you've got to remember um, for what I can see compared to when I put it on a TV or something like that which believe me I will be doing as soon as I get home English rose border look at that and and we'll take a wee bit of a walk through this part before before I let you go again looks like a little rose garden let's go exploring especially for you Anyway, I said let's go exploring, what I really meant to say was I'm going to go explore it, um, just so you don't get sick of me talking at you, whoever is watching this. Um, yeah, onwards I go. So I'm now entering Queen Mary's Rose Garden. It is kind of similar to the one in Christchurch, if I'm, if I'm being truthful. 
still beautiful, still alive. I love it. So many different kinds of roses, all different colours, different names. Like nostalgia, the burly book. And you keep smiling, of course, you keep smiling as a yellow rose. I love it. So it's Sunday morning now here in London, and I've made my way down to what is officially known as the jungle. Um, home of SC Dons. Now, if you follow YouTube football, SC Dons is probably the biggest channel left, especially for Sunday League football. Uh, they've got a game here today against Brixton, which should be a fun time. If you don't, if you haven't seen them, check out SC Dons on YouTube. Even if you're not a football fan, it's still fucking great A content. And um, yeah, this is fucking lovely. This Sunday League football at its finest. It's going to be a fucking great time. And some of these guys are. Some of these guys do play non-league as well. Down in the lower leagues, the goalkeeper actually got picked up for Uganda as well, so they play at a decent fucking level. Um, I I, I'm waging to think that these guys might actually give, no, or probably would give and beat Nomads back home. So it should be, should be a fun time if nothing else. I oh, no, it will be a fun time, I guarantee that. I'm going to enjoy it regardless, so... Let's go ahead and do it. We'll try and catch up with one or two of the lads after the game. I won't get them before the game. They're starting to get ready and, and stuff like that. So I'm not going to try and try and get involved with them now. But yeah, welcome, welcome to the jungle. So I've met some of the Don's boys now, and I've got given this lovely wee jacket here. You know what it is. It's all about respect here at the Don's. And on the pitch, might be a wee bit of give and take. Obviously, uh, definitely some feisty challenges that go in in this league. But um, all about the respect. And they're one big family here at the Dons. Ain't no doubt about that. They talk about family a lot. And honestly, being here, it's about family. Anybody in the Dons are a big family, whether you're from New Zealand like myself or you're actually from Lewis and Peckham, down here in South London. So. Respect, big respect to the uh, to the SE Dons boys. They really make it make it special for anyone here. That's for sure. So it's still nil all here at the Dons. How they're playing? All the not, all the Dons boys there. Met a fair few of them. Come across some Aussies. How we doing, lads? How we going? Kind of Aussies. Kind of. Kind of. Nah. 50-50. 50 50 Mike. So Australian, but live in Manchester. No, born, no, no, born, from Manchester. Born in Manchester. From Manchester. Live in Perth. Yeah. Live in Perth. Sunny side, west side. I got that, got that the wrong way around. <laughs> but um, it's already getting a little bit spicy, only a little bit. But if it stays nil all, it's going to get very spicy, I think. Absolutely. Or if the dons concede. Or if the dons concede, it'll like... get spicy. No, that's fine. Okay, they're cool. They're cool. Too easy. Depends on. <laughs> Too easy. And um, yep, got a. Give me a nice wee jacket here. I think I said that already. I can't remember, but look, fucking love it. Look at this, man. Have a look yeah, at that. Plug, plug this all the dons. You vlogging? Yeah, mate. Are hey, you two? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Just for yourself, or just for myself mainly, nah, but of course. memories. I bet you got some good clips, right? Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, man. yeah of course. Nah, that's wicked, man. But uh, yeah, this is fucking fantastic. And I have to say, the quality here is much better than what it is back home. Sorry lads, but shit's on the quality back home, and this is Sunday League. But yeah. Alright, full time here at the jungle, 1-0. What do you lads think? You can go, man. Lovely to see you in person. Well. It is, yeah. Don, Don's on top for the majority, deserve a few shaky moments, but like yeah. I said, experience wise, top notch. Exactly. Be a bit of a standard. Man, I'll tell you what, RJ. Oh, what, man? RJ. <laughs> what, man? Rolls Royce. I'll tell you what, centre backs I think don't get enough credit. Yeah, spot on. And Especially so when they, when they do a fucking huge job, yeah, exactly. Right, let's see if we can get in amongst. Tactical masterclass. Clean sheet too. 
was reserved. <laughs> Uh, Mickey, come here, my man. What do you think of that? One nil win. That was a clean sheet. Clean sheet. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a clean sheet, right? Three points. Timmy, Three points. how are you feeling, my man? <laughs> <laughs> Who got the final touch on the goal? Is that It was Zaki, yeah. I thought so, but I wasn't sure. Zaki ends the goal off a corner. Sweet to the outside. Easy. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> Mate, it was good. Very, very good. We gave up a few chances, stayed strong, got through. Not the best Don's performance, but you come away with the dub, you're not going to complain, are you? Easy as that. And now we're filming each other. Oh, I just realised, still. Big up, still, man. Big yeah, up. man. Yeah, he came all the way from New Zealand. Of course, I What's did. What's your excuse? You... What's your excuse? Like, anything for the Don's. I've been saying it from and early. No, anything for the Don's or nothing for the Don's. Or anything for Paula. Anything for, Anything for Paula. Anything for Paula. If you're doing nothing for the Don, nothing for Paula, I don't want to hear from you. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. That's the one, Chris. All love and respect here at the Don's. That's right. All love and respect. Sure, Chris. <laughs> How are we doing, mate? Lovely to see you, man. Lovely to see Big you. Pleasure to see you, John. Please. And uh, God bless to all your friends in uh, New Zealand. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sir. What, what are your thoughts on the game? My thoughts on the game were, as, as I thought it would be, it was a very close game. Yeah, it was, it was tighter than I thought. And I, I knew it was going to be a close mm. game, but uh, as it, and it turned out that way. It so, did, uh, yeah. you know, I'm glad we got the goal anyway. L little flick by Zach Anson for the goal? Yes, yes. I think it hit his back, I'm not sure. See, I thought it came on the outside of his foot. It might have done, to be honest. I, <laughs> my eyes are <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. You know. Anyway, it was lovely to meet you. And lovely to meet you. And Thank God you very bless much. to everybody and all your friends in New Zealand. Welcome to the Dons. Yeah. Dons family. Yeah. Thank you, John. Hey, what a fucking time this has been. What a time. We'll try and grab Drew in a minute. He's currently in with Chris, so we won't be able to do that just yet. Just there. Drew! <laughs> Some of your name was Flips. My name was Dean Flips. <laughs> you know what it is? It's it impossible. <laughs> Big G, man. We're here, man. Hey, clean sheet, my man. Clean sheet. We're here, man. We're here. Thank you for coming. Worldwide. True. True. Yeah. What, what were your thoughts on that, mate? One nil yeah, win. Man, one nil win. Um, I think it's good, man. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. That's um, the thing. That's Brixton ticked off the list, so we move on to the next one. I'm happy Who we got? No, Westminster in the cup, is it? Yeah, London Cup next week. Yeah, lovely. Where is yeah, it? Yeah, let's go. Oh, Away somewhere. somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is. Lightning, lightning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next Sunday, is it? That's next Sunday. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm here. Yeah, if yeah. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. And if not, so big up. Come in New Zealand, Duns, man. Big up. Respect, brother. Let's go worldwide. Yeah, yeah.